Hey everyone and welcome back to the single sim challenge in The Sims 4. So Emmanuel is right now at the park. It's right where we left off last time except that I just had him travel here with butter of course and he's really really hungry so I'm just going to have him go ahead and grill. Uh, let's go and grill some fruits. Actually can we maybe find some fruits? I like to play in a bit more realistic way in some ways and whenever I have my sims cook stuff or grill stuff, I like for them to have already at least one of the required ingredients. I don't know, it kind of makes sense to me. Oh, we can also have some daisies. Maybe we could... I, I was actually thinking harvesting some flowers for him and Lucy because today it's love day and as soon as Lucy leaves school, I wanted for the two of them to go on a date together and finally become official. Uh, but I don't see any flowers anywhere. You know what? I'm just going to have him eat right away. That's fine. No, I don't see. I don't see anything. I don't even know if by just you know giving her a flower that would count as giving a flower. We have another lemon tree here. There's something there. That's a carrot plant. Carrot aren't flowers. Oh, there is something else here. Carrot we can dig stuff. Oh, we just reached cooking level too. That's nice. But also, maybe before we go on a date, that would be nice maybe for Emmanuel and Butter to finally become companions because I feel bad, you know, he's just skipping school on his own while actually for the challenge, he's supposed to skip with his best friend. But if he's companions with Butter, companion with Butter, sorry, Technically that would work because when you're companion with your pet, you are best friend with them. So, oh, and look at that. She's, oh, she's just by his side. That's really sweet. Did I give her this color? I don't remember. I might have, but I'm not sure. Let's go and brush her and he actually wants to go on another jog, but I'm worried that tomorrow he's going to feel sore. Let's go and bed her again. Maybe we can... Can we kiss her? I kind of want to lecture her about barking, but actually, you know, it's the way dog talks. So, I don't know, that doesn't really make sense to me to yell at them because they share their feelings and emotions and how they feel. If they didn't bark, how would you know if they feel sad if something is wrong with them? The child is crying. Oh. Oh, it's because the, the dollhouse is broken. Would Emmanuel repair the dollhouse? I feel like he would, you know? He had this trauma as well when he was a child, and I'm actually thinking that it's his mother who bro broke it. Broke it, sorry. Or maybe it was even Emmanuel who broke it, I don't remember. But I feel like he would, you know? He would be a nice person and repair the... Give a treat. He would repair the dollhouse. After all, Emmanuel, he's still a nice guy. He's just going through a rough patch right now. He's feeling a bit more rebellious than usual, so... That's why. What? What are you doing? Rude introduction. What are you doing to our dog? What's her, what's her name? Grace Anansi, she's one of the sim that came with the Realm of Magic, uh, not stuff pack, game pack. Let's be mean, let's insult her. Oh, and definitely we're going to act tough. Do not talk to our dog this way. Can we tell her to go away? Just go away. Yeah, shabo, shabo. All right, let's go. Uh, can we fake throw a ball? That's mean, but that's funny. Why are you so resolution do? I know, I know. We'll be going on another jog probably later tonight because he's probably going to go in, you know, get into another fight with his mom. She doesn't really seem to care that much. Oh, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> She really wondered what it was, but it was still in his hand. Can we pet her, hug her? Let's try to become companion. Brush her again, probably. Fetch, get to know, kiss. Tell a story. I'm so glad that Emmanuel got a dog when he, you know, during Winterfest. That was such a cool idea. 
That was still when he was a very nice little guy and that his mother was... You know, she's still really proud of him, but she's also a little bit disappointed in the way he behaves. And Alison is off to work. Oh, look at that, she's thinking about being his companion, maybe? Complain about problems. Maybe he can complain a little. Can you become companions now? Nope. We can praise her because she's an amazing dog and I think he'll... it's soon going to be time for Emmanuel to call Lucy and go on a date with her. I truly think that by the end of the day we'll be able to be companions with her. I'm really... oh become companions! Yay! Oh I need to be ready though. There you go. Let's see if I can take some pictures of this moment. Oh, that's so cool. He loves her so much. They're companions! Isn't that amazing? Alright, so... Oh, the dollhouse is still broken. All of the kids are sad. Let's go and repair the dollhouse. Be the hero of the day. And then we're gonna go ahead and ask on a date, Lucy. I mean, at this point, Emmanuel, he doesn't really care to go back home late. Plus, he's going to be working on his handiness skill. Though this little girl is growing in his butt, or this little guy, I'm sorry. He's growing in his butt. Alright, so let's go invite Lucy over. Uh, let's invite to hang out at current lot. Are you feeling happier, Cecile? I think he is. Lucy will be right over. Okay, so where is she? She should be appearing over there. I don't know, last time she was invisible for a little while. Is that her? Can we go here together so that I can see her? I think she's there. Yes, she is. So let's go ahead and ask her out on a date. Let's go ask on a date. And he's feeling flirty. This is actually from a mod that I have now in my game, and that's... This is a mod that actually improves a bit more the... Wow. That was a passionate kiss right away. <laughs> he definitely knows his way around. Um, but yeah, this is a mod that I've installed in my game that improves a bit more the relationship system in The Sims 4, so... Whenever you are close to someone that you're attracted to, or actually your sim is close to someone that they're attracted to, they will feel the butterflies in their stomach. And if there's, you know, when they're with someone that they dislike, they'll be tense or maybe sometimes angry. So that'll be very interesting with Alison. Anyway, let's go, let's go and do a sexy pose. The goal of this date is, first of all, maybe to have her feel better because she feels really sad, so let's go and brighten her day. After all, Emmanuel is still a very good guy. So yeah, make her feel better about herself and about life. So there you go, she's feeling flirty now. Let's go and embrace. But also, finally become boyfriend and girlfriend. Share love day excitement. And Butter is sleeping. Where is she sleeping? Well, apparently the rocks on the ground are comfortable for her. That's fine. At least, you know, he's still having a good okay. reputation for some reason. Yeah. Oh, look at that! He's so high! Let's go and uh, ask about love life. And then... Discuss fitness techniques. We could go... Yeah, I think I'm going to have him and Butter go on another dog tonight. Because he has less than a day before he needs to complete his resolution. Oh, we need to give her a massage. I actually forgot about the goals, so let's see if we can give her a massage. Offer a rose, maybe that will count as offering a flower? I'm not so sure though. Is there maybe a bench that's a bit more... Yeah, I think we have some benches over there. There's this table here. Oh, sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation? He's a teenager. He's a teenager. His mother would have to take those decisions. Uh, let's go and sit together over there. Hopefully this will count as offering flowers. Yes, it did. Alright, so now I would like for the two of them to go and sit on the bench a little bit further away from all the kids and all the people. 
I think it'll be a bit better for the two of them. Emmanuel and Lucy just got to the bench that I wanted for the two of them to go to. I mean, this seems like a very good place, you know? It's a bit more away from everything, though. There is Don Lothario right here. <laughs> maybe maybe he's about to do the same thing as Emmanuel. Maybe Emmanuel is another Don Lothario. Who knows? So we need to give her a massage and also sit and talk together. We can make a move, though. I don't think this is going to count as talking to her. Oh, we can spread a nasty rumor. Are you kidding me, Don? Yeah, Emmanuel is not pleased and Lucy as well. Look at that. He just She's just like, dude. Please, go, <laughs> go away. Uh, can we give her a massage? We can snuggle, whisper, sweet nothings. Tickle mercilessly, sure. But, oh, ask Lucy to be your lover. Well, she'll be, she'll be eventually. Reveal crush. Pick up line first. <laughs> Oh, we can kiss her. Let's go and kiss her. I don't see the massage. Is it because they're teens? Compliment appear. Oh, ask for a massage. He's going to ask for a massage? I mean, that kind of suits his personality right now. He's basically just, you know, I guess he kind of likes her, but... On the other hand, he's also using her to discover something that he really wants to discover. Snuggle and oh, we can give her a massage now Give a massage. There you go. And I'd like to see Can we ask her to be his girlfriend? I don't see the ask to be girlfriend. We can ask her to be his lover Which is also by the way another mod that I've installed. Maybe we need to improve their relationship a bit more though I thought you could just become boyfriend and girlfriend Express love for Lucy, ask for a massage. Invite to stay the night, whisper sweet nothings. I've done that already. I don't know why it's not showing up. He stinks as well. Maybe we need to reveal crush then. Let's go and reveal a crush. Maybe this is what we need to do so that we can maybe ask her to be our girlfriend. Because look at that. Their relationship is so high. And a preps too late. And this guy is watching from afar. The the Sims that we're added with oh there you go they're good friends. The Sims that were added with Realm of Magic they seem really strange to be honest. Uh oh ask to be girlfriend okay so we needed to reveal crush to be able to see the ask to be girlfriend interaction. Oh free bips. Is she gonna say yes? I'm pretty sure she will. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> there you go, now he has a girlfriend. Great. Well, he's getting really tired, so maybe we should end the date. And there you go, he's completed the first milestone of the serial romantic aspiration. And he's done everything he needed to do for Love Day. Now he needs to have three first kisses. We can maybe work on this while he's still a teenager. But for now, I really want for him to go home. He's really tired. He needs to take care of himself. But thankfully, you know, it's the weekend. And for now, he believes that his mom doesn't know that he didn't go to school. And that she didn't realize that Butter wasn't here. That she was not worried at all. But I'm pretty sure that Alison, she's not stupid, you know. And she knows that right now, Emmanuel, he's not the little boy that she used to know. He's a little bit different. He behaves a little bit differently. And she trusts him, actually, when it comes to Butter. So she knows that he wouldn't have hurt her in any way. But she knows that he actually skipped school. But as you can, as you know, she's right now at work, so I'm wondering who's actually going to be yelling at Emmanuel when he'll be back home. Actually, Alison is telling him curfew is about to start. If you don't get home soon, then you'll be, you will get in trouble. Well, actually, he'll be in trouble pretty soon. Doesn't really matter about the curfew, though, you know, because he skipped school, and even though 
Right now, Emmanuel believes that Alison doesn't know anything about that. She's not stupid and she knows. Emmanuel just got back home and he's welcomed by a very, very sad, but also quite angry Richard. Because Richard, he realizes that his girlfriend, Alison, is really upset about Emmanuel's behavior and... Richard, he wants the best for... for his girlfriend, you know, but... Emmanuel, he's not happy with all this, these new rules that Richard has created in his life, you know, like all the, the curfew, the you cannot go out as long as you want, and you, you need to be a bit more responsible. Emmanuel, he's just not happy about Richard being in his life and taking over. Look at that, he's so happy actually to be mean to him right now. Why is Mitchell Kalani calling him all the time? He's going to mock sadness as well. I think one of his friends died. I had a notification in the last part, I think. Oh, he's feeling so bad right now. He really needs to go and use the bathrooms. Also, I saw that Alison came back home. But what I'm gonna do first is just have Emmanuel be mean a couple times with Richard and have him after... if I can. Can I? I would like for him to take care of himself, you know, go use the bathrooms, take a shower, maybe eat something really quickly. He's really tired as well. He just needs to take care of himself right now. But I really want to lower his relationship with Richard. Maybe try to get to the point, at least, you know, when they have no green bar at all. I don't really want for him and Richard to dislike each other. I don't, I just think that Emmanuel would like to ignore his existence, basically. And look at that, it's actually lowering pretty well. I think he's going to get to get yelled at by Alison later, though, because they still need to get disliked together, which is awful. Why are you... He was listening to the Lullaby radio station. Richard, right now, he feels like he's just helping the woman he loves, taking care of her son. But, oh, a porn confrontation. But yeah, he, he's just trying to help her, but uh, for Emmanuel... This is just stepping... He, he's just doing too much right now. Richard is not Emmanuel's father and Emmanuel, he's telling him that right now. You're not my dad. Why are you talking to me? Why are you saying me, telling me all those things? I don't care. Oh no. Lecture about drinking in the toilets. That's bad. And then use and you're going, you're going to take a bath. So Richard is of course really disappointed in Emmanuel's behavior because he thought that by maybe talking to him he would be able to convince him to be a bit more responsible and help a bit more his mother around. But Emmanuel, he doesn't really care right now. He just wants to do his own thing. Oh uh, yeah, I know, but you need... To oh great, she's so smart. But Richard, he's definitely really disappointed right now in Emmanuel. Oh, he disappeared. Where is he? Oh, he went upstairs to sleep with her. To sleep with Alison. That's really cool. Yeah, the two of them are really, you know, they're talking a lot about Emmanuel because Emmanuel, he's in their lives and he's living with them. So yeah, they're talking a lot about him and they're really hoping for him to eventually go back to his old self and be a bit more respectful and responsible. But this is definitely not what Emmanuel wants for himself right now. He just wants to be rebellious and do, do whatever he wants. Though right now he's very, he's in a very bad mood. He needs to sleep and eat. So what I'm going to do is actually end this part here, you guys. Next time it's going to be the weekend and I have some plans for Emmanuel. So stay tuned for another part of the single sim challenge. And thankfully Love Day was successful and it was awful for Richard and Alison. But unfortunately I cannot control them. So they had to do something on their own, which of course, you know, they're sims, so they're not going to do a bunch of things on their own. But anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone.